my mom was, in 1962, probably the first divorce in, um, she lived in Maplewood, New Jersey, for those who are in the house from Jersey, woohoo! Um, and it was very rare to get divorced in that day. You know, it was Mad Men era. You just didn't complain about your husband. He cheated. My grandmother was horrified because she had fixed her up with her husband. So she got out there, pushed her out to the sea, and basically made her take a cruise around Manhattan Island. My dad was from Brooklyn and kind of coached her to meet my father. My father was standing, this is a, a cool tip for the guys in the audience. My dad would stand by the bathroom. He was short, but very powerful. He'd smoke a cigar and he'd go to every girl that walked by, they'd be like, I'm gonna marry you. I'm gonna marry you. So he kept saying these to these girls and finally my mother paid attention and said, really, you're gonna marry me? Here's my number. And they ended up getting married three months later. And the cool part of the story was that my grandmother would always fix up all the single girls in the neighborhood. Then my mom passed the baton. It was really for the local temple. It wasn't a big deal. But then divorce became prevalent. And everybody was getting divorced in her neighborhood. And, and they didn't take money. They did this, like, you know, for a chicken and a nice dinner out, you know. And it was kind of interesting because I swore I'd never be a matchmaker. But I was always really good at it in junior high. I would go to these Christ church dances, the nice Jewish girl. I liked all the Gentile boys. And I would, and the priest came up to me one day and he's like, does your rabbi know you do this? And I'm like, no. And he's like, well, you need to make this a business. 